What's going on guys? It's Mike the Automotive Junkie and I am here because we need to talk about this EV. Yes, <laughs> this is like an EV that is kind of exciting um, because it's probably the most exciting EV that's been announced. Um, so we need to talk about it. I mean, we just have to. It is the uh, Dodge Charger Daytona SRT. And this is a full concept right now. Um, but what they unveiled recently, and I mean, the car looks like a Dodge. It sounds like a Dodge, and apparently it's supposed to drive like a Dodge. Um, and the key thing on that is the sound like a Dodge part. And we'll get to that in just a little bit um, because it is an EV. So they've done something very unique uh, to really make the sound sound like a muscle car. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet. And I'm sure you guys all have your thoughts and we'll leave some comments down below because I'd love to get a conversation going uh, about what you think about the sound. Um, and, you know, we'll talk about it. Um, so I'll leave a link to their Speed Week video where they did the unveil. Um, and if you haven't seen it yet, I'm sure most of you have seen the video, but if you haven't, I'll make sure that there's a link down below to that video uh, so that you can actually watch it. And all of the images that I show here uh, are coming for, directly from dodgegarage.com. If you go to dodgegarage.com, you can go and get all of the information on the vehicle. Um, so, a couple things. Um, again, they wanted it to drive like a Dodge, look like a Dodge, and sound like a Dodge. So those were the key three things. And a couple things that they did to uh, make that happen, which this is actually really interesting. The drive like a Dodge. So they came up with this erupt multi-speed transmission with electro electro mechanical shifting experience so elect, electro mechanical shifting experience say that five times really fast um to me that sounds like they've done something that i guess in an ev just doesn't exist right now uh most evs you just hit the gas and they go uh so what this sounds like they're doing is they're giving you two options uh, from what it looks like in the pictures that I could see, uh, one would be thumb paddles on the steering wheel. And then there is actually a, uh, looks like a gear shifter, like a shifting knob on the center console. So I would assume that both of them have the same functionality to allow you to kind of essentially hold a gear, um, you know, electrical mechanical gears. Um, <laughs> but it sounds like it's going to give you that possibility to kind of, you know, hold back on some of the torque that's coming out and kind of as you're coming into curves and turns um, to kind of let off of that. And, and I guess it's all con electronically controlled, but it's supposed to give you the experience as if you were actually shifting uh, in a real vehicle. Um, so that sounds pretty interesting. I kind of like that idea for EVs and I'm hoping to see all of the other uh, performance car companies, especially the muscle cars. Love to see it in a Mustang, love to see it in um, Chevy, um, you know, in a Corvette, Camaro, all of the above. It would be great to see all that. Um, so I'm hoping that as these companies shift to electric, that they start to, you know, implement that kind of technology. Sounds really cool, and uh, it's something that I'd probably wanna see in a future vehicle. Now, we need to get to the sound. If you haven't heard it, go watch the video and listen to it. Now, this is gonna be highly debatable um, whether or not people should add fake sound to an EV. Is it even worth it? Um, is it something that people really want? And uh, I don't know, I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't read enough of the forums to see whether or not people are actually into this. And uh, I think that's one of those interesting questions. I guess we'll find out. So I guess the first question is, is, is should we be adding fake sound to EVs? Drop a comment, let me know. Should we be doing it? Um, the other question is, is if you've heard it, do you think it sounds good? What do you think? So it's the Fretztronic, and I'm probably saying it wrong, Fretztronic chambered exhaust. Um, again, say that five times fast. 
Uh, so ideally, it's supposed to give you the sound 126 decibels, making it sound like a Hellcat. Um, so whatever they did, they obviously took a Hellcat. I'm sure they put a ton of microphones around it and revved it a bunch of times and got that sound uh, dialed in as much as they could so that when they put it in to this system, it would sound kind of like that. So the Fitronix chambered exhaust. So let me go into the details on the page here uh, and talk a little bit about what that says. So what that says is 126 decibels, the roar that equals the SRT Hellcat uh, through a new patent pending Fitronix chambered exhaust system. So what this is, is it pushes a one of a kind sound through an amplifier and tuning chamber located in the rear of the vehicle. Uh, and essentially it's, there's like, I guess there's like tailpipes or exhaust pipes on the car um, that allow the sound to come through and all of the components are in the back of it to, to make that, you know, seem real. Um, again, I don't know, let me know your comments down below. What do you think about it? Uh, and then they actually say that they call the sound profile dark matter. Um, so I don't know if this means that, you know, down the line they can change the tune of the sound or if you'll have some settings in your vehicle where you can go in and program uh, what kind of sound you want it to have. If you want it to be, you know, deeper, throatier, raspier, whatever. Um, I would assume too down the road if this continues being the path that there will be like verbal tunes or verbal sounds that you could download into your car and you know that's what that would be um so it, it's a very interesting concept that they put out there all of the details again are on the page dodgegarage.com i'll leave a link to that down below go ahead and throw the comments in just keep the, the conversation going I'm, I'm really curious to see what you guys think about this if you haven't watched the video go watch it then come back and comment um really really interesting uh you know ev muscle cars were you know it's 2022 and uh they're happening they're they're here and they're coming and they're gonna get better and better um obviously i'm i'm still more of a fan of a hybrid personally um you know if if i was gonna go that route i'd probably go hybrid next uh, I like the still the combination of having some EV capability, but then still having, you know, a traditional gas powered engine. Um, but as EVs do evolve, um, it is an interesting space and it's going to be interesting to see what other companies do to compete um, and to see whether or not there can truly be an EV muscle car. Uh, or that type of vehicle. Obviously, I mean, the performance is there. We've seen it with the Tesla, the Tesla Plaid, um, you know, it, the, the Lucids, they just released, a, I think there's a new Lucid coming out that's even gonna <laughs> be more powerful than the Plaid. So, um, you know, like the game just keeps changing. They keep up in the game and uh, it's gonna be an interesting world in the next five years for sure, um, you know, but, that's all I have for now. I wanted to get it out there. I wanted to talk about this car. I know there's been a lot of buzz about it. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you guys have been reading and hearing. And uh, let me know if you're if this is something that you'd actually consider at some point once this was released. Um, you know, and, and possibly, you know, drop some comments down below. Like if it's, you know, I mean, obviously EV is coming, it's here, it's whatever. And, you know, the technology is so interesting that they could literally create whatever and basically send it as a download to your car. So, you know, in the future, if you were to buy a muscle car like this, what are some of the added things that you would want to see in a car? Like I said, you'd be able to change the audio sound that's coming out of the car. Um, you know, obviously some of the lighting, you'd be able to change LED lights, uh, RGB lights, whatever. Um, it would be interesting to see what other technologies they could put in to a car and love to hear your thoughts on that as well. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video. 
keep hitting that like button. Make sure you give this a thumbs up and uh, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any other upcoming videos. Like I said, really been trying to figure out uh, the direction of the channel and which way I want to go more. Obviously, I got a couple other awesome car events coming up that I'm definitely going to bring to the channel. Uh, but I also want to do some highlight and some feature cars. So I'm working on a, a concept, an idea to actually go out and talk to uh, some of the car owners and about their cars and we'll go from there. So guys, thanks again. Smash that like, smash subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video.